was yet another instantly recognizable tale from the Grand Rapids Civic Theater. Some may call it a tale as old as time. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast taking the stage and the curtain goes up soon here with a special preview performance and all of the info you need. We've got Civics Communications Director Nadia Skidmore. Hi, Nadia. Hello. Hello. And over here, Haley and Owen, also known as Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Hi, Haley. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good. Congratulations, Haley. I should start with you because <laughs> this is your first lead role. Mm -hmm. Now, I did musical theater when I was younger, and yes. I remember the, what I did when I got the call for my first lead. How mm -hmm. about you? How, how did that phone call go? Lots of crying. <laughs> but happy, happy tears. Happy tears. Uh, good, good, good. Yeah, our amazing stage manager, Kieran, gave me the call uh, and said, Hi, Belle. And oh I thought he was kidding. I thought it was a total joke, but he said, No, we, we want you as our Belle. Oh, and I immediately, we started crying together. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I immediately started calling all of all my best friends, all my family, uh, and it was just a very surreal moment. And yeah. of, of course, Owen, you were just Bert in Mary Poppins. I was, right? Yeah. So you're going from Bert to Beast, right? I, <laughs> I have very different lower voice. But, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so what do you like most about this? I'm assuming it's got to be kind of wardrobe and makeup. Isn't that fun? Oh, I mean, uh, definitely putting on some sort of mask helps with character caricature for sure so mm -hmm. and the physicality so yeah it's absolute blast working with Haley and the local artists in Grand Rapids it's such a gift. Nadia we all know that the costumes the sets at Civic Theater are always top-notch for those who don't know I don't know how you couldn't know this tale but the storyline the plot of what we're gonna see on stage. Yeah so Beauty and the Beast truly as you said tale as old as time <laughs> uh, but uh, the the Beast uh, is first a bit of a, uh, a selfish prince I guess you could say okay. and uh, a a beautiful enchantress uh, puts a spell on him and all who live in the castle and the only way for it to be broken um, is for the beast to find someone to see him for his true self yeah. and um, to to fall in love and and to break the spell before the final petal falls. If there and was, of course, enter Bell. Right. <laughs> if there was ever a story of not judging a book by its cover, absolutely, it, would be it is the this beast, one right? for sure. And you guys did this back in 2016. We did. Uh, okay. Changes? Anything new for yeah, this? Yeah. So uh, a few changes. You know, one of the things that's really uh, cool about working with a company like Disney Theatricals is that they always have um, their finger their fingers on the pulse of um, do things need to be updated or changed a little bit does something need to be removed and so you're gonna see a few different things um, but one of the things actually two of the things that um, I think is so exciting is um, the addition of some new production team members that didn't work on the show previously so mm -hmm. Kristen Toblin is our director uh, while she is no stranger to civic and the School of Theater Arts it's her main stage directorial debut oh, wow. which is so exciting <laughs> another debut yes, yes wow. for sure for sure and um, our amazing costumer Jen and our uh, scenic designer Kat um, just such a, a great love for for Disney and Disney productions and what the two of them along with the rest of the production staff has done to bring this to life and to bring some fresh new takes on um, some of the visuals within the show is really special and really exciting yeah this is definitely a family friendly bring the kids obviously yes, this is absolutely. a fairy tale hey before we get to the special programming that you got and the yes. ticket information and the run dates because this is coming soon I think we should probably get a sneak preview let's do it first. so we can come in and give you all the ticket stuff later but I mean we want to hear you say <laughs> so when before you sing, mm -hmm. what do you love most about this role? I mean, when you come, taking the stage as Belle, besides having the title, the lead role, <laughs> yeah. what's so great about it? I mean, she is such a, a gift to be able to perform every night. Uh, I find that we are very similar in a lot of ways and that we really enjoy reading and, and learning and having an appreciation for intellect and emotional intellect, especially. She's, she's very mature. Um, but I think especially just the journey that she goes on and also her self-learning, like not to be deceived by what's on the outside, but what's for the inside as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. We can all, we all can tell already just by looking at Owen that there's a good guy in there, right? That's an understatement. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, thank you for your time and Nadia you. as well. But Haley, Absolutely. the spotlight turns to you. What will you be singing for us this morning? Uh, well, we're going to begin uh, with Belle Reprise, which okay. I'm sure many of you at home will know uh, from the film. Uh, and then we'll uh, continue into Home, which is a song that was written specifically for the musical. For the musical, so, so we're going to hear some music just for the musical mm -hmm. now. Well, without yeah. any further ado, Haley as Belle singing <laughs> a couple of numbers from Beauty yeah. and the Beast at Civic Theater. We'll give you the stage. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is he gone? Can you imagine? He 
asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. Oh, no, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this provincial. someone understand I want so much more than they've got planned is this home is this where I should learn to be happy home could be dark and cold. I was told every day in my childhood, even when we grow old, home should be where the heart is. Never were words so true. My heart's far far away home is true what I'd give to return to that life that I knew lately and to think I complained of that dull provincial town change again build higher walls around me change every lock and key nothing lasts nothing holds all of me my heart's far far Nadia, what a talent. Yeah! I know, you know, got all tears going. All right. Ticket information. November yes. 17th, this is going. Don't forget, we've got accessibility special shows. Yes, absolutely. So on the 23rd of this month, we have Pay What You Want. Excuse me. We have our relaxed environment performance. Got it. Uh, but every single Wednesday is Pay What You Want Wednesday, which is so cool. And then on Saturday, the 25th of November, that is a really special day where we get to do a pre-show touch tour as well as an audio described performance for those that need that. And that is also our... Our, um, American Sign Language interpreted show Making as well. Making theater available to yes, everyone yes. at the Civic Theater. <laughs> yes, There's indeed. the 